Hey guys, it's Joe 93 and it's time to talk about some other great videos this week. So we got lots of videos today, we're playing catch up today. But one of the things I have to do this week is alongside Ungentlemanly Warfare, which I reviewed last week, I also got to see a couple movies this week. Now, today, well, we'll be reviewing both movies today, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to review Civil War, and then we're going to review later today, we'll review Rebel Moon Part 2 slash Rebel Moon uh, The Scar Giver. Uh, so, in this movie, Civil War, okay, first of all, i got to talk about the cast. All right, Kristen Dunst, this is the return of MJ, Mary Jane Watson from the original Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies we have not seen in movies return. This is based off true events, and it's one of those true story movies. Now, right off the bat, I'm not always the biggest fan of these kind of, I love history and I love historically accurate, but for this movie, I even when I'm dead tired, it's very really hard for me to fall asleep through a movie. But So I went to see this movie with my friend on, I think it was this last Sunday, and when I went to go see this movie, I legitimately, I, I won't lie to you guys, I hit, I crashed out hard. We were late because we, we missed the first five minutes because my friend um, was talking to some bartenders and hanging out and doing whatever, which was cool. Um, but when I got in the movie, despite this is a Civil War movie and you, there should be some action and the story, she should grab you or whatever, I was so tired that it just, oh, because of my work schedule, I didn't get to get that proper sleep I needed and it just kind of knocked me out. So I felt bad I missed the movie, but thankfully I had another friend who was able to get free tickets and he took me to the movie on Monday. And I got the fun, because I, I wasn't going to review this if I couldn't talk about it in its entirety. I can't say, oh, it sucks because I fell asleep and it's boring. This is not a boring movie. This is a pretty good movie, but it's not great. And I'm going to explain why. So Alex Garland is a pretty interesting director. Um, this is another A24 movie. The A24 for me is a really kind of, they're amazing studio, but they're a mixed bag for me, okay? I love X. I love Pearl. I love everything, everywhere, all at once. I did not like Midsummer. I did love Hereditary. So, liked most of their movies, but I had a couple of good picks with some of the other ones. This one's kind of in that mix bag, okay? So, and maybe that's more on Alex Garland than it is on the studio, but so the war, you know, it, it sets up to be, you know, we're dealing with this war propaganda film. We don't get too many of these, but this one is a pretty interesting one. Um, so Kristen Dunst, now, like it or leave it, whatever you want, some people, when they've been in a franchise for a long time and you get used to how they act, you, you realize when you're watching them as a comic book character and you're looking at them as, as what they are as a kid and whatever, and the nostalgia, sometimes when you see them as an actor as involved, you don't know if you can be down with who they've become. And so, Kristen Dunst in this movie, I personally don't care for her returning as as MJ, if, if they do more Spider-Man movies with Tobey Maguire, I hope they give him a new love interest or they recast her. Because I really thought this movie, she's one of those actresses where being an actor, you're supposed to be able to not only um, change the tone of your voice and be able to, you know, give a convincing performance, but it's all about how you, 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 you sell to your audience and you feel your expression. Are you feeling grief? Are you feeling anger? Are you, are you happy? Like, you got to convey that. And Kristen Dunst is... One of those actresses where everything she does is kind of the same. Oh, I'm grumpy. I'm on my period. I'm I'm mad. I'm I'm this. I'm a journalist. And we're in the middle of a war. And this little kid, you need to wear a Kevlar vest. You can't come with me. Like, so that kind of bothered me that Kristen Dunst hasn't evolved. She, her, her type of acting is still, oh, look at me. I'm grumpy. And then they kind of pay it off with her giving her a nice sacrifice in the end of the movie. Because, you know, throughout this movie, you have many of their friends being killed because this movie shows the, the dangers of a journalist like you're seeing this road trip where they're going to these locations find as much information they can where they're trying to build up to meeting um meeting the president and this has an underwhelming ending not only does their character um a lead character die but also they don't get the results that they want to from the president because the government ends up killing killing him in the end uh so spoiler warning for you guys if you haven't seen this movie yet um but honestly i really didn't care for this movie like if i had to give this movie a rating I would give Civil War probably a 6 out of 10. It's not a great movie. It has some interesting concepts. It, it's nicely shot and nicely directed. I just really don't give two shits about Kristen Dunst, honestly. If I'm being honest, or as an actress, a good actress can be everything to a movie, and her, her performance really takes me out of this movie. So if you guys have seen Civil War, 
What did you think about it? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. And in terms of a Civil War movie, if I'm going to watch a Civil War movie, I'm watching Captain America Civil War. Move, or you're going to be moved. As entertaining as that would be. Right, so that's my thoughts. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day.